The Senate Committee for Culture and Tourism does shook mad for the poor funding when we say that they give the nation tourism sector say it no make sense. The chairman of the Senate Committee, uh, Senator Rosha Sokrosha, for one budget defense session with the Minister of Informate, Culture and Tourism, Lai Mohammed, he said the tourism get the betterness to add foreign revenue to the nation coffers and say they must put plenty of money. Senator Kurosha the tourism minister, ministry say uh, made a think outside the boss for one worker to generate more internal revenue for himself as no guarantee they say they could put more money for the operation. Before this um, distinguished house uh, body too, sir, and after all our pleadings, what we got was a whopping 900 million cut from what was even proposed by the government. So, sir, I, and I'm sure that if that 900 million naira had been put back in our budget, it would have been a completely different story from what we are talking about today. So we are glad, sir, to have a committee that is willing to plead our case and support us. Uh, despite whatever constraints we had in 2019, um, our activities, uh, as you can see, sir, starting from page four, shows that we are very, very busy and we discharged our functions far beyond the poultry sums that was allocated to us. For us in the ministry, sir, it was more about passion and labor of love than actually, uh, you know, what was given to us. Whatever little was given to us, we were able to give a good account of us. Even if, even if I say so, and I've said this with all sense of modesty. Good soup, na money maker. Mm. Uh, so, uh, if, if we go and put uh, 100 million, 200 million in tourism, at, at best, I think we're just uh, indicating our seriousness about the hotel. So, if we want to make tourism and, uh, a, a means of livelihood for Nigerians, and to create jobs, and uh, uh, create uh, revenue, they will must fund it. We must make it a, a business. It's, it's a must do because it's obvious that all you can no longer meet our need, our yearnings for the development of our nation. But money is inconsequential when it comes to ideas. So one of the things I challenge you, uh, the Honourable Minister, is to say, listen, okay, we don't have money. Let's do this something. Let's think outside the box. I said, right now, we're, we're, our, our, our music industry is becoming the best in the world. Could we set up a day in 2020, collectively by all the Department of Tourism, and then start showcasing what we have, first to the world? I will have uh, Meet Mr. President program by all the, the artists, all the musicians, uh, all the likes of uh, Whiskey, Davido, and all these boys that pull millions of crowds, followership in social media, all over Africa and all over the world. I said they have a one big show in Nigeria. I will start advertising it. I will say, okay, listen, let's get it done. As I'm talking to you now, no money is involved. It's only a letter from the Honorable Minister of Information and Department to say, listen, we are inviting you for an award or for a handshake with Mr. President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I will, I will dress up Mr. President in, in jeans that day with black goggles, looking, looking cute. And he goes to the stadium, and all these boys are here. Do you know how many people will come from Ghana? Do you know how many people will come from... Uh, South Africa, or Kenya, or Mali, to witness this event. We have nothing less than 100,000 people wanting to see their fan perform live and make it look competitive. What happens then? Each of these people will come with at least $5,000. When they come to Nigeria, they will buy biscuit, they will buy the charge card, they will stay in a hotel, they will take transportation. Then we have brought into your country millions of, of dollars. I said, that is the way to start.